Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Pisces. It's Dana. How the heck are you? We're going to do a Pisces full moon lunar eclipse reading for you. It's a very, very special day, very significant. Um, I am not an astrologer by any means whatsoever, but I follow it closely. I actually follow it religiously. So if there's anything that you need to know, by all means, Google. Search it on YouTube. There's tons of information out there. It's a very, very, very significant full moon for not only Pisces, but all of the zodiac signs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, snuggle up to this table. Let's talk about some things if you're coming back to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you will hang around to the end of the video, I'm going to tell you all about my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -Step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. And last but not least, there is a super thanks button somewhere on your screen that you can smash anytime your heart desires. All right, Pisces, let's jump right in and see what this reading has to say. For this significant day, 10.35 p.m. is going to be the full moon lunar eclipse. So let's just see what's going on. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. Thoroughly going to confuse you for a good solid minute while I sew together a story. You guys ready? Let's do it. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me, Spirit. And Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces? And what does Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please tell me where that stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Spirit, where is, there we go, where is the stopping point for this particular Pisces? What do they need to know? Oh, right there, feels good. Okay, let's do it, Pisces. One, two, three. One, two, three. And three. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant, Wisdom. And then Patience with the Temperance card. Very interesting. Partnerships and Alliances with the Three of Wands. And then Balance with Justice. We're also going to go ahead and take Triumphant Success with the Ace of Swords. It's going to make hella sense to you guys in a minute. Makes hella sense to me right now. But it will play out at the end of this reading. All right? So these cards are supposed to be read in the upright. My clarifying cards will be read in any way that they come out like usual. So the first card out is the lovers. Fantastic. Followed by the nine of swords. The eight of pentacles. And the seven of pentacles. Very interesting. Let's scooch these up. Everybody can see everything. The sun, fabulous. Transformation with death, fabulous. Authority with the emperor, look at that. Three majors in a row, wow. Deception and envy with the seven of swords. Truth with justice. Heartache and loss with the three of swords. Power with strength. And disruption with the tower, wow, look at that. Then we have Accelerated Motion with the Eight of Wands and Universal Order with the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Wands, Stand Your Ground, Choose Wisely, and Material Harvest with the Nine of Pentacles and Triumph with the Chariot. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful. We're going to take solitude with the hermit and victory and success with the six of wands. Absolutely fantastic. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this, Pisces. We're going to use the handy dandy rider weight. 
I need to get a new deck of these cards because uh, these are pretty worn out. But you know what? These are the cards that I started my channel with. And as a matter of fact, I have a birthday. It was a couple of days ago. Uh, this channel has been around since 2018. And these cards have also been around since 2017. So I need a new deck, but I just have some sentimental attachment to these guys right here. So let's do it, you guys. So the Six of Trump. This card is called Harmony in this deck. It's the lovers. It's about frequency. It's about frequency and energetic attraction. And the Three of Pentacles comes on top of it. So Harmony, Teamwork, Collaboration. Okay, and then Suffering in Silence to the Five of Swords in Reverse, letting go of some kind of mentality that's holding you back from this Harmony somehow. Okay, that equals positive movement forward with the Eight of Pentacles, right? Working on it, working it out. The devil, right? That's all of that right there. That's the attachment. That's the restriction to your growth. Positive movement forward with the Eight of Pentacles and then the Seven of Pentacles. Patience and planning. Interesting. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. All right, all right, all right, Pisces. This is what's going on here. So this card opens up with the lovers, okay? This card is called Harmony. This particular Pisces, whomever this reading is for, craves and desires some kind of significant love relationship in their life. They crave it, they desire it, and the universe knows it. Okay, the universe is trying, trying to bring you the desires of your heart. Okay, they know that this particular Pisces longs for a love relationship. And the Three of Pentacles comes on top of it, talks about teamwork and collaboration. What is this? Well, this teamwork and collaboration is not only Pisces wanting teamwork, collaboration, the ability to build something with someone else, negotiation as far as how you're going to build your life together, right? But more importantly, this Three of Pentacles is about teamwork and collaboration between you, universal order, and your person. Because they are very, very strongly trying to usher into your life a love relationship. But they need teamwork and collaboration from you so you can match the frequency of the person that they're trying to bring into your life. Uh huh. Because the lovers is about frequency. It's about frequency alignment. That's how love starts, right? It's your little energy over here and their little energy over here. And the two of you come together and poof, something is created that didn't exist before. And that's love right? Pure love, okay? They need you to be on a frequency that will allow this situation to gravitate towards you and you to gravitate towards the situation. They need teamwork and collaboration with you, Pisces. They need you on board. They need you to participate and then death comes on top of it and talks about an absolute end to the way that things were and an absolute transformation in the beginning of thing of the way that things will be. All right. In order for the universe to deliver to you what it is that your heart desires, they need you to bring an end to whatever it is that is standing in the way. All right. What is standing in the way? What is standing in the way? Well, the Nine of Swords, suffering in silence, okay? This is Pisces all up in their head, hating on everything because they have experienced some kind of situation once before that didn't go in the way that they wanted it to, okay? So this is a salty Pisces, someone who is just sunken on the inside about love, about relationships, about marriage, okay? This Pisces is just, they're just consumed in their mind by the suffering that happened because something in their past didn't work out. Or perhaps this is someone suffering in their mind because they've never been 
in a love relationship and they're wondering when when is it going to happen am i ever going to have a love relationship five of swords in reverse comes on top of this and says this particular pisces needs to let go of this win at all costs mindset what is that well the five of swords in reverse is rooted in some kind of resentment resentment that needs to be let go of okay so this mindset this white knuckle grip on a win at all costs mindset is i i i it's not ever going to happen it's not real love isn't real um universal order isn't real all of this woo woo fluffy bullshit just isn't real and it's never for me and it's never going to happen for me and i don't know how it could ever happen for me because everything that i've ever experienced that even closely comes to some kind of love relationship has been terrible it has been a terrible experience got to let go of that mindset that's the mindset that's in the way okay the eight of i'm sorry the six of swords in reverse this card talks about mental baggage weights around your ankles m mindset mental baggage that needs to be let go of to the devil because it's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth right the other side I'm telling y'all, the other side of all of the rainbows and unicorns that we have here in the spiritual awakened world, right? There is a yin and a yang for everything. The other side of spirituality does not want you to be happy. They don't want you to be peaceful. And they for sure don't want you to deal with your mental or emotional traumas. Because the longer you stay stuck in the Nine of Swords, no matter what your situation is, the longer you stay stuck in the suffering, the longer the other side remains strong. They thrive. They feed off of despair, anxiety, and sadness they do and it's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth why well because if you keep feeding this this keeps growing and you're chained you're bound to this energy queen of swords right queen of swords says time to get your mind in the game pisces time to come to terms with everything that has not been good or right and proper in your life and understand that all of your previous experiences love or not all of your previous experiences can make you strong if you will manipulate the energy to work in your favor instead of keeping you plugged in to this downward spiral toilet flush that's going on in your emotions and in your mind in regards to your ability to have some kind of good relationship. Queen of Swords says, mind in the game. Mind in the game. Bring it all to a big understanding. Queen of Swords, she, she, she is straightforward and she means business but she's receptive okay and this is what this means for you you have to get your mind in the game sort through all of the issues here and go forward with a determination that you are going to use your past experiences for your growth instead of your detriment queen of wands in reverse because this is a pisces that doesn't believe that they deserve love this is a pisces who is salty about love this is a pisces who doesn't have the confidence that they can secure or maintain some kind of successful relationship in their life to the ace of swords in reverse and until you get your mind straight pisces this whole beautiful gigantic relationship that the universe is trying to break through in your life can't happen because your mind creates your reality your internal self narrative creates your reality the things that we think about in our deep subconscious mind that we're not even aware of on a daily basis create your reality in this particular Pisces, their internal self-narrative is despair and grief. Mm -hmm. 
Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about working things out, working on things, working things out, building bigger, better, and stronger. Just what I said, right? You can either use the things that have happened to you as weights around your ankles to keep you chained to the foot of the devil and serving and feeding anxiety and despair and sadness and grief into the energy fields, or you can turn it all around and say, no, 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 no. I'm going to use this for my growth and my strength. I'm going to have a different perspective about the downtrodden feelings that I have about relationships. Look, I kid you not positive movement forward. You work this out inside of yourself, Pisces, and the universe is going to deliver to your life a commitment, a commitment, a serious, serious commitment. That's what's in your future. The Hierophant is in your future. More importantly, the Hierophant being Major Arcana, um, th this card, this guy is about the, 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 the person who goes into the temple, who receives the downloads from the Most High, and then steps out of the temple and disseminates those downloads to the people. That's who the Hierophant was back in the day, okay? Some people call him the Pope, right? We all know that we don't, that that's a method of control, right? We don't need that. We have direct access to source through our soul, the same soul that has been here since the beginning of time, the same soul that's going to pick up when you die, the same soul that's inside of you right now is the exact same soul that is trying to lead you and guide you and show you the way. That is the exact message that's coming through for this particular person, for you to connect your psychological human experience with your deep, deep soul's understanding. The Hierophant needs you to understand that they are trying so hard, trying, to bring you your heart's desire, but they can't because your mindset won't allow it to manifest. To the Seven of Pentacles, take a step back and reevaluate how you're going about doing things, Pisces, because what you want from your life and the effort that you are putting into your life don't match. The Sun. Happiness, success, and vitality, they are trying, trying, they are trying to bring happiness, success, and vitality into your life. But you need to see clearly what's stopping that from happening, and it's you. Happiness, success, vitality, the healing of the inner child. And whatever the inner child is, I guarantee you, whatever relationship this is that made you salty about love, has some kind of direct connection to your wounded child from your parents. Somehow, some way, that relationship was a duplication of an unhealed wound from your childhood. 100%. And they're trying to show you there's a different way. There's a better way. Heal that wounded child. Get rid of that identity that you've been carrying around that you keep trying to duplicate in your relationships because that wounded child is in control. Your whole emotional life is being dictated by a 10-year-old kid that has mommy issues or daddy issues. And that 10-year-old kid is constantly, constantly trying to fill that void, fill that void, fill that void. And that 10-year-old kid is attracted to the energy output that was the offending party, the mother or the father or the caretaker or whatever. The, the 10 year old child is constantly trying to make that better and make that better and make that better. And you are attracted inherently. I mean, that is just like textbook psychology. We are attracted to our parents and most of us will marry either our mother or our father in our adult life. You know, a duplication, obviously not the real person, right? So the light, see very clearly that the path to happiness, success, and vitality is trying to burst into your life, Pisces. And then the Six of Pentacles comes on top of it. And it's the giving and the receiving and the sharing of prosperity. Mm-hmm. 
This, 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 this is trying to break into your life. Look, here's death again. Death right there. Death here. Death again. A massive transformation is trying to take root, Pisces. But there needs to be an end to who you were. Because all of this up here, this salty Pisces up here, this is your humanness. This is your processing life experiences through your humanness. And you are not processing your life experiences through your soul. You are internalizing it to be about you, against you, hurt, salty, angry, mad, despair, and anxiety, and sadness. That's what you're manifesting in your subconscious mind. And there needs to be an end to it so all of this can break through into your life because your internal self-narrative creates your reality. And your internal self-narrative is the wounded 10-year-old child. That's, you know, hypothetical, the age. The, the, your internal self-narrative is the wounded child who could not fix the relationship with their parents in their relationship with whatever this was that happened to you right here, right? And the end needs to come. The end needs to happen. Look, the sun in reverse, right? The sun in reverse is the unhealed wounded child. It is. You need to see clearly that there is an aspect of your consciousness that you are giving way, 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 way too much power to. The Six of Cups. Your childhood. Your childhood. Six of Cups is also telling you that a soulmate is trying to be brought into your life. And look, the magician, right? Manifestation. It is actually literally working in the background it's working in the background it's almost like everything is ready pisces everything is ready the only thing that's not playing the game is you because your internal self narrative is blocking it what's trying to happen in your life well the emperor with authority, and it's called authority in this particular situation because the universe, the universal authority over the way that things should be, divine orchestration of the path of your destiny, Pisces, is trying to take place. And they are trying to match you with an empress down here to the emperor. This person Male, female, them, they, doesn't matter. This person is ready. I mean, look at the guy in the card right here. He's ready. He has authority over his life. He has healed. He has grown. He is ready for you. But the two of you cannot energetically connect because your frequency is wounded and low vibing. That's right. Frequency. This table that I'm reading on right here, this wood is held together by molecules and atoms that are stuck together through frequency. Everything is about frequency. That's why music has the effect that it has on us. Everything is about frequency. Just like the angels, right? The angels, and in, in they don't look like you think that they look. But the angels, right? Ah, angels, why are they light? Why are they bright light? Why are they the highest form of tangible energy? It's because they're in the presence of source, high vibing energy. And they need you to change your vibes, Pisces. They need you to change your frequency so you can find this person and they can find you. It's just like if I took a billion little pieces of magnet, right? Little shredded pieces of magnet and I put them all over this table. And then I slammed a big, huge magnet down in the middle of it, right? Big, huge magnet down in the middle of it. Everything that is facing this magnet, right, zoop, sticks to it. Everything that is not facing this magnet is repelled by it. 
right? Same concept, exact same concept with your subconscious mind. You must point your understanding and your frequency towards universal order. Otherwise, it can't find you. Eight of Wands, change, movement, action, change, direction, change in your energy. Fire energy, the wands, right? Change in your energy creates movement, action, and change in your life. And look, you will be divinely guided towards this relationship. Mm -hmm. The lovers is universal alignment. It is the way that it's supposed to be. But what's going on? Well, Pisces again, right? Deception and envy. Screwed over, screwed over, screwed over. See, you can't get away with this though, Pisces. There is no other way to get what it is that you truly, truly desire and crave in your life, which whomever this is, it's a relationship. You can't get away with not dealing with that wounded child or you will continuously repeat the same kind of relationship over and over and over again. You have to take your power from the wounded child. The wounded child is depending upon you to take charge and take control of things instead of turning it over constantly to be re-abused and re-abused and re-abused because you are internally attracted to that same energy. It needs you. She, he, they, them. It needs you to take control once and for all and do right by it. Do right by your wounded child. There is no shortcut, Pisces. The two of wands. You are at the threshold of your future. Hence, death twice. Transformation. You are at the threshold of your future. The knight of cups. And you need to come to terms with all of your fragmented emotions. See, the knight of cups, he's done a lot of work. He's done a lot of work and he is only carrying forward what will fit in that one cup. Yep, yep, yep. He's come through all of the water cards before him, upright and reversal. He's learned, remember we talked about up here, about, about letting it be your strength instead of letting it be your weakness, right? He has chosen to let it be his strength. He has gone through all of the water cards that come before him and he has decided that he is not going to carry anything into his future that is going to be a detriment to his success in this journey in this lifetime. He's learned. The Knight of Cups has learned and he is prepared to move forward steady and stable with only the things that he wants to take forward. He has sorted through all of his fragmented emotions from his childhood woundings that have been duplicated in adult relationships and he's come to terms with himself. He's about to become the Queen of Cups. That's how grown he is. And this is what needs to happen in order for you to be receptive to this opportunity. The Nine of Wands, fighting the good fight, right? The, the Prince of Cups has fought the good fight. Resilience, persistence, he's sorted through all of his bullshit. He's put it all on the table and he's given it all back. All the bullshit he has given back because he understands that it wasn't his in the first place. He's just been carrying the trash bag full of the bullshit that his people couldn't deal with. Generation after generation, they've been handing the same identity crisis bullshit down. And now it's in your lap. And you will either continue to carry it or you will sort through it once and for all and give what doesn't belong to you back to the Nine of Pentacles, right? Bringing the whole thing to fruition, completion, conclusion, standing in your power, knowing your worth, that is the most important aspect of this. That goes back to that Queen of Wands in reverse right there, right? Knowing your worth and not believing the lies 
about who you are, where you came from, what made you to be you. No, 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 no. Putting it all to rest and standing in your power. Why is this all so important? Well, truth, judgment. This is Pisces, right? This is Pisces, major arcana, no less, but Pisces making a, a, a line in the sand decision with the judgment card, Trump 20. Line in the sand decision. It all stops here today. I will no longer lament about the shoulda, coulda, woulda. I'm going to make sense of why the shoulda, coulda, woulda happened in the first place. I'm going to follow the dots back to my childhood. And I am going to take ownership. And I am not. I refuse. I will not live the identity that my wounded child is so desperately trying to fix. The Knight of Swords. Wrap your mind around this understanding and execute it in your life because when you do, the connection comes into play and you are drawn to this person. This person is drawn to you. For some reason, some way, the both of you just decide to be in the same place at the same time and boom, it's on. Beautiful. Beautiful, divinely orchestrated love relationship. But again, heartache and loss with the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. It's interesting to me that all of this heartache and loss and all of this stuff that this particular Pisces needs to deal with is all in one row right here. Column, I guess I should say. The Nine of Swords in reverse is bad experiences painful experiences, heartache and loss, but strength, power with the aid of Trump says, overcome this. Don't be defeated by this. Don't succumb to this. Overcome this. And you can, whoever this is for. If you're sitting out there going, I don't know what the hell she's talking about, wounded child, this reading is not for you. You have some work to do. You have some internal exploration to do before any of this is going to make sense to you. Whoever is picking up on what I'm putting down right here, they do have the strength and the power to overcome what is holding them back from their destiny. Ten of Swords in reverse. Where does this come from, this strength and this power? This is a renewal of a mindset. A mindset that is rooted in deception. A mindset that is rooted in, I got screwed over. I got the short end of the stick. My parents destroyed me. My first marriage destroyed me. My second marriage destroyed me. My third marriage destroyed me. You know why? Because you're repeating the same freaking cycle over and over and over again in your life. You have the power to change your mindset to justice in reverse. This particular person that I'm reading for, this is an aha moment for you. Aha moment because justice in reverse is someone who is not being accountable for their journey. Someone who is just being consumed by the machine of this devil card right here. Someone who is not taking accountability for their journey. Justice in reverse is not in your best interest. What's not in your best interest? To keep repeating this cycle over and over and over again in your life. That's right. And disruption. A couple of things out of this card right here. This disruption right here is whatever this particular Pisces is feeling and thinking about themselves right now. I could be making you mad because oftentimes when someone calls you out, first thing you do is get mad about it, right? Oh, well, so sad. Too bad, Pisces. I don't care if you're mad at me or not. I don't care if, if you are offended by this or not. This Pisces right here has some serious freaking issues that they need to come to terms with in order for them to step into their destiny, in order for universal order to take place in their life, in order for them to have the kind of life that they truly, truly desire that by some reason, circumstances or situations, they think that they can't have. The disruption the tower, right? The crumbling of perhaps your identity or your understanding of yourself. 
right here, right now, this very moment. The tower is also about, about the, the sudden change. And the second, the second that you understand this, Pisces, is the second everything starts to stick together. Look, the Wheel of Fortune. The disruption, the tower of the foundation that you have been building your life upon needs to come down. It needs to crumble. And if you're standing at the edge of it, watching it crumble, or it has already crumbled, stand up, brush yourself off, and step away. Stop lamenting about why it crumbled and how it crumbled and what could have made it not crumble. If it crumbled, it didn't have the base for you to build your life upon in the first place. The Wheel of Fortune, the divinely orchestrated steps of your life, universal order, the way things are supposed to be. Pisces, you are important. Your name is written in the book of life. You are a thread in the beautiful tapestry of universal order. And the sooner you realize that the way you think your life is and the way your life should be, as soon as you realize the difference between the two, everything starts to stick for you. To the Empress, your destiny is to be the Emperor to the Empress, the Empress to the Emperor. That is your destiny. That is the next leg of this particular Pisces is, is, is <laughs> journey. Yep. But we need some accelerated motion. We need movement, action, and change on the inside of you, Pisces, so you can be energetically frequency <laughs> so your frequency can be found because a wound is a wound is a wound whether it's in your mind on your flesh in your emotions a wound is a wound is a wound and a wound gives off a low vibration a dying vibration this Pisces is dying on the inside and the vibe that is being exuded from your body from your literal body is low vibe, low frequency. They need you to heal so you can move forward, Pisces. Look again, universal order. Everybody is just waiting on you, Pisces. Everybody is just waiting for you to have this aha moment. Stand your ground to the Ace of Wands. Stand your ground. The Seven of Wands is someone who has been backing up from something. And this Pisces needs to face it head on, head on. Face what? Ace of Wands in reverse. Your lack of inspiration to prepare yourself for what's coming. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Choose what wisely? Well, the Page of Pentacles, where you're growing your seeds. Choose wisely the ground that you try to take root in because you're throwing your seeds on the same old, dry, broken, barren ground expecting something else to happen. You have to fertilize that ground, Pisces. Choose wisely where it is that you decide to grow. Strength in reverse, right? Don't, 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 don't grow on the same old ground. Strength in reverse is succumbing. It's not overcoming like power is down here. Succumbing. Look to the Nine of Pentacles again. Pull it all together, Pisces. Pull it all together. Bring it to a culmination so you can step into your destiny. Seven of Pentacles in reverse because if you keep doing it the way you've always done it, you're just going to keep getting what you've always gotten. I mean, it's that simple. There needs to be a change in this Pisces. Triumph with the chariot. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination. And the universe will escort you to exactly where it is that you need to be. You will have triumphant success if you will attempt to try to change your internal narrative. Make sense of it. Come to terms with it. To solitude. Sit with us. And the Five of Pentacles. Sit with us. 
and we will show you. This is the hermit energy soul searching introspection if this reading has ticked a place inside of you if this reading has flicked you in the head if this reading has caused some kind of turmoil some kind of salty angriness inside of you sit down with whatever you're calling your higher power and have an out loud crazy person conversation and ask them to sew it together for you take you to where it is that you need to be to understand how to unravel your identity and step into your true self judgment true self sit down and talk about your insecurities and what happened in the past and so forth and so on and you will emerge from this sit down with your higher power in a place of victory and success mm -hmm. victory progress success this is the roadmap for what this particular pisces needs to handle in their life in order to get on board with universal order and fulfill their destiny their purpose on this planet the high priestess let it be so there's pisces right there let it be so follow your intuition when you come out of that hermit energy listen to what they're telling you be cognizant of signs and synchronicities around you follow the rabbit trails yes to the four of wands because they want nothing more than to give you what it is that you want they want nothing more the best way to let your soul experience what it needs to experience in this lifetime is to be a happy and contented human being Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the king of wands king of wands this represents your desire remember you're the queen of wands in reverse right here right and as you go through this as you process this as you follow the steps that they're laying out for you here for you to have the kind of life that you truly want to have you morph into the king of wands this is strong masculine energy and the masculine aspect of it comes from fighting, right? This king of wands has eyes on the prize. He's not going to let anything stop him. And that masculine energy is in all of us. We all have male and female energy. And I don't care if you don't identify as either one. We all have male and female energy, masculine and feminine energy. And this is the new Pisces. This is the new Pisces, ready to go, eyes on the prize, inspired and on fire about the next phase of their life. Page of Cups, emotional growth. This is the emotional growth of this Pisces. This emotional growth creates an environment where you can give and receive emotionally. To the Ace of Cups, more emotional growth, more importantly, being prepared to enter into new love. And the Two of Pentacles says, balance this out. Prioritize this. Balance this out. Triumphant success on the bottom of the deck. Get your mind straight. Mind in the game. Mind in the game, Pisces. To balance. This is justice. This is in your best interest. This is going to bring balance into your life. Take accountability for why you have had such bad experiences and understand that you absolutely played a part in it. You absolutely played a part in it. You were not bamboozled into a bad relationship. Your wounded child chose that bad relationship. Partnerships and alliances. That's what's next. That's what's next. Work with the universe. Align yourself with universal order. To patience. This is temperance. Temper yourself. Enjoy the journey. Redo the internal narrative that keeps you in those kind of relationships, that got you into that kind of a relationship. 
redo the internal narrative, find peace in the journey, temper yourself and understand that you don't have to be anything. You have the power to transform your whole existence, Pisces. And then the Hierophant. Again, wisdom. Just like this Hierophant. They need you to understand that they're trying to talk to you. And for some of you, they have used my narrative of these cards today to talk to you. Please be wise. Please accept the wisdom that these cards are telling you because there is commitment in your future. There is some kind of significant, significantly important relationship that is trying to manifest in your life, but your mindset, your internal self-narrative keeps creating a reality that is counterproductive to your destiny. And there you go, Pisces. I sure do hope that that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never ending. You have a purpose. This life experience has meaning and you are important. Your journey on this planet in this lifetime is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.